Next for the Sun Founders Ultimate Sensor Kit, I'm going to select LTR module. So in today's episode, you will learn how to use LTR with Arduino Uno R4 Minima board. And let me remind you, if you don't have the Arduino Uno R4 Minima board, there is no need to worry. You can also use the Arduino Uno R3 or even you can use the Arduino Nano. In the previous video, I've explained the potentiometer with the help of different examples. So if you guys have watched that video, then understanding and using the LDR will be quite easy for you. This is because the working principle of both is exactly the same. The potentiometer is also a variable resistor and so is the LTR. The only difference is that in a potentiometer, we have to change the resistance manually, whereas in the LDR, the resistance changes as the light intensity changes. Anyway, we will do three examples. The first example is foundational focusing on how to read and interpret the analog values from an LDR sensor using Arduino and how to print it on the serial monitor. In the second example, we'll control RGB LEDs using the LDR's digital output. The third and final example is where things get even more exciting. Here we will use the LDR to change the color of the RGB LED based on the intensity of the light it detects. This is the LDR module, as many of you might already be aware, there are two main types of LDR modules available in the market. Let's explore the difference between them to help you understand which one might be the best fit for your project. The first type is the 3-pin LDR module. This variant is relatively straightforward and is often used in simpler light sensing applications. The three pins typically include VCC for power supply, a ground and either an AO analog output or a D or digital output, depending on the specific model design. The three pin module is great for basic projects where you need a simple on or off signal based on light intensity. On the other hand, we have this four pin LDR module, which is slightly more advanced. This version includes four distinct pins, PCC for power, ground for ground, AO analog output, and DO digital output. The addition of both analog and digital outputs make the 4-pin module extremely versatile. The analog output provides a continuous range of values reflecting the varying levels of light intensity. This is particularly useful for projects where you need to measure different shades or degrees of brightness. The digital output meanwhile offers a simple high or low signal, which is ideal for straightforward light triggered applications like an automatic night light. This is a variable resistor and is also known as a potentiometer. It allows you to adjust the sensitivity of the LTR. By using this potentiometer, you can set the threshold at which the digital output DO changes from high to low or vice versa. This is particularly useful in projects where you need precise control over the light level that triggers a response. For beginners, I often recommend starting with a 4-pin LDR module. It's really versatile because it has both analog and digital outputs. So that's all about the LDR module and now let's go ahead and start with our first example. In this example, we are going to focus on something really interesting and quite straightforward, displaying the analog values from the LDR module on a serial monitor. To connect the LDR module with Arduino Uno R4, simply connect the ground pin to the Arduino ground connect the plus 5 volt pin to the Arduino 5 volt and finally connect the analog pin of the LDR module to the Arduino analog pin A0. You can follow this circuit diagram and now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. The first line of our code is constant integer LDR pin is equal to A0. Here we are declaring a constant integer named LDR pin and assigning it to A0 which is the analog pin we have connected our LDR module. Next, in the setup function, we start by initializing serial communication with serial.begin function. This line sets up the Arduino to send data to the computer at 9600 bits per second. Then we use pin mode function to set our LDR pin as an input. This tells our Arduino to read the incoming voltage from this pin. Moving on to the loop function, where the magic happens, we have integer LDR values equal to analog read LDR pin which reads the analog value from the LDR module and stores it in LDR value variable. This value changes based on the light intensity. The serial.println LDR value line then sends this value to the serial monitor of the Arduino IDE, allowing us to see it in real time. After printing the value, we have a small delay of 500 milliseconds given by delay 500. This short pass ensures our readings aren't too frequent, making the data easier to read and understand. So that's all about the programming. Now let's go ahead and watch this in action.
In this example, I will control an RGB LED using the LDR's digital output. The basic operation of this project is straightforward. When there is light, the green LED will light up and when it's dark, the red LED will turn on. You can also think of this as the day and night detection system. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the wiring. Connect the ground pin of the LDR module to the Arduino ground. Connect the plus 5 volt pin to the Arduino 5 volt and finally connect the digital D0 pin to the Arduino digital pin 2. Connect the minus pin of the RGB LED module with the Arduino ground. Connect the G and R pins of the RGB LED module with the Arduino PWM pins 9 and 10. You can follow this circuit diagram and now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. The LDR digital output pin is connected to the Arduino pin 2. The red and green LEDs are connected to the Arduino pins 10 and 9. In the setup function, we simply activated the serial communication at 9600 baud rate. Using the pin mode function, we set the LDR as input and the LEDs as output. Inside loop function, this line reads the digital value from the LDR. Based on this, we use an if condition to control our LEDs. If the LDR senses light status high, we turn the green LED on. Otherwise, in the dark, the red LED turns on. So that's all about the programming. Now let's watch this in action. Now let's go ahead and start with the third and final example. In this example, we will use the LDR module to change the color of the RGB LED based on the intensity of the light it detects. To connect the LDR module with Arduino Nano R4, simply connect the ground pin to the Arduino ground, connect the plus 5 volt pin to the Arduino 5 volt, and finally connect the analog pin A0 to the Arduino analog pin A0. Connect the minus pin of the RGB LED module with the Arduino ground. Connect the R, G and B pins of the RGB LED module to the Arduino PWM pins 9, 10 and 11. You can follow this circuit diagram and now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. The code starts with defining the connections. We have an LDR connected to pin A0 and the RGB LED module is connected to pins 9, 10 and 11 for the red, green and blue LEDs respectively. In the setup function, we initialize all these pins. The LDR pin is set as an input to read light levels and the RGB LED module pins are set as outputs. Moving to the loop function, we first read the analog value from the LDR. This value tells us how much light the LDR is detecting. Then we declare the variables for red, green and blue values. Then using the MAP function, we scale the value of LDR from 0 to 1023 range into 0 to 255. The MAP value is then stored in the variable normalized value. Based on the light level, we transition the LED color through various shades. In lower light levels, we move from green to blue. In medium light, we transition from blue to red. And in bright light, red dominates. I've already uploaded this program and now let's watch this in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.